beautiful so high it's her hair it's her hair it's the hair that i feel like you whip your hair It's your girl by if you're new to my channel i say welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for turning back in in today's video i want to talk about the good the bad and the ugly of having long natural hair so if you're interested stay tuned but before we go hit the subscribe button it's free oh and i forgot whilst talking about this i want to mm, take my twists out and show you my twist out results so Yes, now let's get straight to it. You have more styling possibilities, um, like huge buns, twists like these, and you can wear the twist down or you can wear the twist up in the updo, different kinds of updos. Or you can have a ponytail, you can wear two puffs, one puff, you know, the styling possibilities are endless with long hair. Long hair can be low maintenance. That means like you can wear your hair in twists like this. You don't have to take it out. You can leave it in twist for as long as you want to. You wash your hair in the twist and then you, you retwist it again. And then you retwist it again and then life goes on. I mean, that's what I do sometimes when I really don't feel like doing my hair. I just like for instance, these twists that I'm taking out right now, I could have left them in for a month minimum or for as long as i wanted to for two months or three months but usually i'll just redo the twist every time i wash my hair no wrong i'll do i would redo the twist when the twist start looking very frizzy and that's probably like after a month so i wash my hair every two weeks in these twists and then take it out after the um fourth wash no wait mats two weeks after the second <laughs> after the second wash i'll take out the twist and then um we twist it again it looks beautiful having long hair is it just looks beautiful i mean short hair looks cute also but i mean there's just something about having hair down your back you know why then would everyone or let's say a lot of people be wearing wigs that are like all the way to their bum because like we, we admire that look of having long hair, you know, down to your waist. So yeah, long hair looks beautiful. Not saying, like I said, short hair looks beautiful also. And um, especially when it's stretched, you can just be like, I want my hair back and forth. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, having long hair makes it easier to be a lazy natural. What I mean, like, I am a lazy natural. I don't like to style my hair so much. I prefer to have my hair in these twists or bigger twists. And then I'll just wear my hair in bonds like these or different kinds of updos or wear my hair down in these twists, depending on how I feel. But the point is, I don't really like to do much with my hair. So I, I don't take it out. I don't wear it out often. I wear it out on occasions. Girl, do you see these? Pff, wait till we separate it. Ha! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna look cute. <laughs> Anyways, shrinkage is something like it's a good and a bad. Like we're gonna talk about it in the bad as well, but now for the good, like you can wear your hair in styles that look shorter. Like see, my hair is actually waist past my waist. But because of shrinkage, my hair looks super short. Super short. My hair looks shorter than it normally um my hair looks shorter than it actually is. And that's like the beauty of having shrinkage. You can um you know, you can like wear your hair in this really big afro or shrunken twist out or like, you know, these kind of shrunken styles and that's like the beauty and the diversity of having natural hair and having shrinkage. You might need more products. Like, you might run through your products quickly, meaning you have to repurchase more frequently if your hair is long. Because obviously, 
you need more product to apply for the hair the longer your hair gets right so yeah you're gonna have a hard time fitting your hair under a wig if your hair is long and if you have a big head like mine <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be a pain in the you know to fit your hair under a wig like i'm talking out of experience i try to you know change up my looks or try different things because sometimes i get bored with having like you know just my natural hair long i want to have like short styles and obviously i'm not about to cut my hair to have a short um to, to have short hairstyle so yeah i i i find it hard to fit my hair under a wig styling takes longer yeah because obviously the longer your hair is and depending on what kind of style you want to do like for instance this twist that i'm doing you know um twisting your hair when it's shorter it's like duh, 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 you're done but like with the long hair you're twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting three days later and twisting and twisting and twisting <laughs> it's like when is it gonna end like you know it takes forever um to to style shrinkage i know i mentioned shrinkage as a good but in this case it's a bad after spending hours and hours and hours <laughs> twisting up these like twists and then taking it out and then stepping outside and humidity just <laughs> decides to you know make these curls disappear like why would you be happy if that's not the look you're going for I mean shrinkage is good because it's in, in, in shrinkage is good because it indicates that your hair is healthy and it's moisturized but girl not after I have spent uh, eight hours twisting up and then twisting my hair no 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 <laughs> in that case <laughs> shrinkage is bad you will ask is this really your hair I'm like yes <laughs> like really is it and i'm like yeah it is and you know in, in such situations you try to stay as friendly as you can or at least i try to and i think in most cases i am i'm not rude or anything but it's still annoying to have someone constantly ask you is this your hair i mean no one walks up to a caucasian asking if that's their hair on their head. The Germans were like, ah, deine Haare, ist es nicht wirklich deine Haare? And I'm like, yeah. I mean, how many times have you walked up to a Caucasian and asked, is this your hair? I don't think so. So why does it seem so um, strange for dark-skinned people to have long hair? I mean, it's normal. It's just that because of the nature of our hair, it's it took us a while to figure out how to grow our hair, but we know it now and like, and because some people like to wear wigs and all these things. And the thing is, you know, on Yubo people, they to the wear wigs, right? The wear extensions and everything. Just, but, but we just don't, we assume that it's their hair that's on the head. And we're not gonna walk up to them and ask, right? Anyway, that's a run for another video. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually a topic I'm going to talk about in another video, so you look out for it. And the next one, like, that's my pet peeve. Duh. After asking whether it's your hair, now they want to touch it because they still don't believe. Like, one case. And the other case is, like, they're still, they're curious about, like, especially the Caucasians. They want to feel the texture and be like, well, it looks like, do you know what someone told me once? It looks like a mop. It looks like a mop. Bruh. Can you imagine? I had a twist. <laughs> I mean, the twist that was not as bomb as like this. I think this is going to turn out really nicely. But it was a stretched out twist out. I think I had worn it for a couple of days, you know. And the person had the audacity to say that my hair looked like a mop. Like, are you, are you, are you kidding me? Like, are you serious? Ah, uh -uh. waiting now. Come. <laughs> anyways point is don't touch my hair okay no you cannot 
It's my hair, yes, but you cannot touch it. Thank you. <laughs> All sorts of things get stuck in your hair. Things like lint, branches, leaves, uh, scissors, uh, washing machine. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean like these um, tiny particles from clothing, especially when you sit or from your scarf, like especially in winter, mm, my hair, there's always um, lint stuck in my hair and it's very annoying to get it up because it just <laughs> clinges to the strands and doesn't want to let go and it causes unnecessary um, tangles because my hair wraps around those tiny lints <sighs> causing me like I really have to like cut it out when it's stuck because it really it's really difficult to get it out once it's there and finally the most annoying thing of all detangling takes forever i mean it takes forever you know forever like my dear forever like why i mean <sighs> i just it's it's i really dread detangling my hair honestly like that's the least that's why I try to keep my hair in twist as much as possible because when my hair is twisted obviously it doesn't get tangled and then I don't have to detangle as thoroughly when I take the twists out and like doing these twists doing this twist out I'm already like thinking about my detangling session because you know when I go out the wind and everything and doing this and that it's going to cause the hair to tangle up and then I have to detangle it and I really don't enjoy detangling my hair because it really it really takes forever guys it takes too long so this is the twists out but then obviously I'm gonna separate these twists even further and then I'm gonna show you the results of this twist <laughs> so, this is the twist out result that I got from those twists and I'm quite happy with the way it looks because my hair still feels like you know it's flowing it's not it's not heavy it's not weighed down and I still have volume I mean I could even I could stay uh, I could separate it even more because there are some there are still some twists in that I haven't really separated very well but it's already big and when I step outside it's gonna get even bigger so yeah I'm just gonna leave it like this the product that I use for twisting up my hair is of course olive oil I used um, my rice water spritz the same spritz that I used to detangle my hair with and aloe vera gel those are the things that I used um, in twisting my hair to conclude this video, I feel like each stage that you find yourself, you should really enjoy because there are days where I really miss my um, TWA, TWA um, because it was really a breeze to do my hair then. I just apply product, I wash my hair, apply product and then and that's it. But now it takes, like I can't do that. And like there are styles that I could do then with my short hair that I can't really replicate now, you know. So just enjoy each stage and don't be in a rush to get to a certain length. Just enjoy the ride as it goes, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any ideas or questions, you can kindly leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and to share this video. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload my new video. It's your girl Abaya. Bye bye. Mwah. Can I touch your hair? No.